I just want you to admit you were flirting with her. I was not. Come on, I was joking. Achoo! Bless you. That wasn't me. Is there somebody else on this call? Uh, hey, uh, that was me. Barack Obama. Barack Obama? One and only. Just doing my part for the NSA. You actually listen to these calls? Not all of them. Uh, this is my shift. Uh, wait, I can't find a mute button on this thing. Uh, just pretend I'm not here. Okay. I don't remember where we were. Let me check the transcripts. You said Steve was flirting. Steve, you said you weren't flirting. You were just joking. Proceed. Yeah, well, I guess I guess that's all I wanted to say. I'm sorry, Mr. President. Can you hang up? Uh, we need some privacy. Sorry, no can do. But this is just between us. Unless you're talking about blowing stuff up. <laughs> all right, Steve, I guess we can talk about this later. But I just, I don't think we have a future together. What do you mean? Well, um, I, a lot of things... Bo! Hey, Bo! Okay. Get your furry butt I, off uh, that couch! Just, it's lo it's hey, a few so it's issues that I've been... Come take Bo for a walk! He's rubbing his butt uh, on the Lincoln uh, Love uh, seat. Basically, I don't think you want kids. I never said that. I, I beg to differ, Steve. Last Thursday, June 13th at 7.42 p.m., you tell your buddy Tim, and I quote, All kids are a-holes. When I see them, I want to kick them. My God, Mr. President, could you please just give us a few minutes? Hey, look, I'm just trying to help. If you want to see someone wreck a conversation, you should see how Joe Biden handles these calls. What a moron. Excuse me? Who's that? Vice President Joe Biden at your service. I've been here the whole time. How dare you invade my privacy, Joe Biden? I had a sense you were talking trash about me. My little birds tell me everything. So I've been monitoring your activities, yeah. That's some bullshit. You just can't eavesdrop on a private conversation between me, Julie, and Steve. We're trying to work on our relationship. What are you going to do about it, son? You're not my dad. You're my bitch. Meet me in a rose garden for a good old-fashioned ass whooping. Oh, we'll find out who the bitch is. If you want it, bring it. I got something for you. You know who you're talking to? I'm from Hawaii. Shut up. You think I care about somebody from Scranton, Pennsylvania? You're talking to a man who was busting noses when you were making grass skirts and doing hula ceremonies with your mama. I ain't no bitch ass, you know I once bench pressed a motorcycle for charity. I'm about that life. You were talking to the Golden Gloves welterweight champion of 1958. I wouldn't give a damn if you fought Tyson. You used to call me the Scranton Scrapper. You ready to get on the scrap heap? I hit your ass with a two-piece of the biscuit. I don't care. I don't care, okay? With a side or a macaroni set. I'm going to kick your ass. Five minutes, bitch. Rose Garden, right? Is that what you said? Rose Garden? Okay. Barbara! Hello? Are we alone? Yeah, I think so. So look, maybe we're not going to have kids, but we are still going to blow up the airport tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Bye, sweet. Happy Independence Day, America. I'll be listening in to make sure that you're enjoying your freedom.